Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Adam and Eve cocktail. This is with a bison grass, or specifically for bison grass. It was the recipe that I took. Um, this is the Bax box, box bison grass vodka. It's now imported in the U.S., so you should be able to find it in a bunch of different cool places. Also, for those Europeans, they might already be able to get this a lot easier than we were able to, so... This is kind of more, maybe even fits something you guys could do. And when I've been using this in the last couple recipes, one of the comments that I've got on EverydayDrinkers.tv is, it goes great with apple juice. Get emails, great with apple juice. The guys in Omega said, this is great with apple juice. So, damn it, we got apple juice. So we're going to do a little apple juice with, so we're going to have two ounces of the of the bison grass. We're going to do, uh, well, we're just going to fill it with apple juice with a little grated cinnamon. And this is my grated cinnamon. It's uh, simply organic cinnamon. It's got like those little holes in the top, so it's kind of like grating. And a, a dash of lime. So I'm just figuring a dash would be squeeze that in. We're good to go. So we're good to go. And we're going to throw all that, and we're going to build it right over ice in this cool little highball glass. Oh, a little sticky right there. So let's get started. We'll throw some ice in. There we go. We'll do our two ounces of the bison grass or zubrufka. Zub oh, I don't know. I tried a couple times. Zubrufka. I don't know. Zubroska. Zubroska. I always click the little play button on the, I think it's on Wikipedia, they have a little play button so you can pronounce it correctly and I repeat it and then when I come up here it's forgotten. Just say bison grass. Bison grass! That's what the bottle says anyway. It is what the bottle says. So, we're going to combine these ingredients over ice. There's our ice, there's our ingredients. We're going to fill, just throw in our lime now so that'll get in there. Just dash of lime. I gotta find a place to put my dash. Throw it over there. And fill it with apple juice. And a little cinnamon on there. There you go. And this also makes a pretty good cocktail for the season. If you're thinking apple, apple cider, apple juice, fall, pretty colors, kind of got the fall color going on there. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's really present right at the right in the nose, so that's kind of neat. Mm. This really brings out a lot of the neat flavors of the bison grass. It doesn't taste like you're drinking vodka and apple juice. It just doesn't. It's got the properties. It's like the the aromas and the... It's hard to describe what this tastes like by itself. You can go to everydaydrinkers.com where I did it. But it's got a, a neat aroma. It's kind of vegetal green style aroma. It doesn't smell like grass. So, you know, maybe it smells like bison grass. I don't, we don't have bison here. So you're getting very fresh... Flavors balanced with that nice fruity apple, little cinnamon on top, like an apple pie cinnamon. Very tasty. Very relaxing and delicious. Smooth. Well, all around, this is a this is a pretty good cocktail. It doesn't even look like a cocktail. This looks more like a, a dessert. Speaking of which, we're trying to do, people have been asking you to do in fall episodes. Are you going to do some seasonal stuff? We're going to do, you know, holiday stuff, Christmas. What are the holidays? Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Yep, all that stuff later. Right now, we're going to do, we're going to stick with and focus on fall recipes. Thanksgiving's coming up in the U.S., so think about that. So what we're going to be doing in the 20th of November is we're going to be creating the 10 cane, 10 cane spiced apple punch recipe. Looks like that. In the cocktail glass, you could do them hot, you could do them cold. If you buy a bottle of 10 cane, they'll be sponsoring the specific episode we're going to be doing on the 20th. Um, if you buy one now, it should have this cool thing on top with the spice packet already included. If it doesn't, or you have a bottle you haven't really opened, we're making a punch. It's a whole bottle. 
Think about that. So if you're gonna use this entire bottle and make this punch, you need a full one. If it, you can't find one with those spice packets, I got some spice packets. 10 Kane sent me spice packets. Send me an email if you need one of these and I'll ship them in the mail. I've already done it because I posted it on pretty much everywhere, newsletter, Twitter, whatever. So we've got some of those available and I'll keep talking, reminding people to get those. If you get them now, you could get this, make the punch while I'm making the punch and uh, we can we could just have a good old time. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, for the Adam and Eve cocktail. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>